नमस्कार टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन सम ऑफ द टेक्निकल टर्म्स रिलेटेड टू यूटिलिटी लाइक पंप्स चीलर्स कंप्रेसर्स एंड दिस टर्म्स आई लर्न ड्यूरिंग द परचेज ऑफ दीज इक्विपमेंट्स रिसेंटली सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट वन इज इफिशियंसी क्लास आई थ्री सो आई थ्री मोटर्स लाई इन द आई थ्री क्लास ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल इफिशियंसी स्टैंडर्ड आई थ्री मोटर्स हैज सम ऑफ द स्पेसिफिकेशन लाइक आउटपुट रेंज 0.75 पॉइंट सेवन फाइव किलो वाट टू थ्री हंड्रेड फिफ्टी फाइव किलो वाट एज फार एज पोल्स आर कंसर्न दे आर टू पोल फोर पोल सिक्स पोल एंड एट पोल्स एज वेल स्पीड रेंज 750 फिफ्टी आर पी एम टू थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड आर पी एम एंड द फ्रीक्वेंसी फिफ्टी हर्ज और सिक्सटी हर्ज बट वट इज आई स्टैंडर्ड्स सो इट इज डिफाइंड एज आई ई वन मोटर्स स्टैंडर्ड इफिशियंसी मोटर आई ई टू हाई इफिशियंसी आई ई थ्री प्रीमियम इफिशियंसी आई ई फोर सुपर प्रीमियम इफिशियंसी एंड आई ई फाइव अल्ट्रा प्रीमियम इफिशियंसी so let us know ultra premium efficiency uh, that ie5 class is defined for motors for variable speed operation richard gee uh, uk sales manager motors and generators at ebb abb company says ieb5 motors produce up to 50% lower energy losses than equivalent to ie2 motors and 20% lower losses compared to ie4 motors so here main concern is energy consumption then ip55 protection class uh, this is limited protection from uh, dust and low pressure water jet from any direction uh, it is required uh, to have the this kind of protection just because of cleaning during the cleaning we we use uh, water jet and uh, the pumps must be protected so uh, the next one is ip55 w so here limited protection uh, from dust low pressure water jet from any direction and against damp and wet weather here the important is when it is added ip55 w so w means wet weather next one is which one is better ip55 or ip65 so ip55 rating provides protection against water spraying out of nozzle from any direction whether ip65 rating significantly more robust and offers increased protection against dust intrusion Uh, dust intrusion means considerably reduced dust particle entering into equipment next one is iso 5167 5167 2003 it defines terms and symbols and establishes the general principles for methods of measurement and computation of the flow rate of fluid flow rate of fluid flowing in a conduit by means of pressure differential devices so pressure differential devices such as orifice plates nozzles and venturi tubes when they are inserted into a circular cross section conduit the running full uh, what do you mean by iso 1217 2009 it specifies methods for acceptance test regarding volume uh, rate of flow and power requirements of displacement compressors this is first kind of standards it also specifies methods for testing liquid ring type compressor and the operating and testing condition which apply when a full performance test is specified next is what is mep contracting MEP stands for mechanical electrical and plumbing engineering these three technical disciplines encompasses uh, the system that make building suitable for human occupancy the next one is uh, what is PEB stands for in construction so pre engineered buildings pb are building components that are manufactured at a factory and assembled on site that means you are receiving the ready made structure usually pvs are steel structure and can be an alternative to conventional structural steel building uh, now these terms are coming like aisi so aisi stands for american iron and steel institute uh, what is asi 304 stainless steel 
this one is the most versatile and widely used stainless steel. It is steel sometimes referred to by its name, um, I mean old name, 18 by 8, which is derived from the nominal composition of type 304 uh, being 18% chromium and 8% nickel. Type 304 stainless steel as an uh, austenitic grade that can be severally deep drawn. Uh, the question again comes is uh, why uh, SS316 is considered better than 306, 304? So most stainless steel ordered around the world is grade 304. This is the highest sale always of uh, steel grade is 304. It offers the standard corrosion resistance, formability, uh, stretch and easy maintenance for which stainless steel is known. While 316 comes in second in terms of quantity sold, it offers vastly superior corrosion resistance to chloride and acids. So here the acid is much more uh, important that this 316 is protected from uh, acids as well. Uh, then what are the four grades of steel? So authorities have grouped steel uh, kinds in four groups. The first one is carbon steel, uh, alloy steel, stainless steel and tool uh, steel. What is ASI 430 stainless steel? This is new terms for me. But type 430 stainless steel mostly used in sheet is a mild corrosion resistant metal that can be easily bent, stretched or drawn. It features the following like chemical composition, iron balance and carbon less than 0.12%, chromium 16 to 18%. Then uh, the next one is a scroll compressor. What's a scroll compressor? Uh, also called a spiral compressor. Uh, it is a device for compressing air or refrigerant. It is used in air conditioning equipment and as an automobile supercharger. Many residential central heat pump and air conditioning systems and a few automotive air conditioning systems employ a scroll compressor instead of the more traditional like uh, rotary reciprocating and oval plate compressors. What is an API pumps? This question is uh, generally raised uh, that whether uh, you buy API pumps or ISO pumps. So let us understand. Uh, API pumps are designed to handle various hydrocarbons in accordance with the high standards of the American Petroleum Institute. API stands for American Petroleum Institute. API means ranging from the end section uh, to vertical tur uh, turbine models are commonly used in the petroleum uh, electrochemical and natural gas industries. And what is ISO pumps? ISO end suction pumps are a centrifugal style pump, simple in design and efficient. These pumps confirms to ISO 2858 and ISO 5199 and are optimized to ensure the highest capacity features include uh, available with diesel or uh, electric drive, high performance, stable head capacity and improved non-overloading. So that's all for today. See you next uh, in the next Saturday.